Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Cancer, you are going to receive a new offer from someone and um, you will need to decide at that time uh, if you wish to take it or walk away from it. I have to say that it is an offer that you have been wishing for. I can see it down here, but you've also been wishing for stability and, and you may feel like maybe you won't get that stability um, when it comes to this wish. All right. So, and, and I feel like this is uh, what's blocking this and what's worrying you is betrayal. You're feeling very guarded because I feel like you've been betrayed before in the past or that this person has betrayed you. Okay. And now they're coming back. And so uh, your response to this uh, question that is being asked of you or this offer that's being presented, you keep putting off that response. You, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to respond. I feel like you're still very, very attracted to this person. Um, and I feel like that is the truth. Um, you could be um, wondering what their truth is. Um, I feel like you are receiving an explanation, but you don't know uh, an explanation and an apology, but it's like you don't know if you can believe them. Um, what happened to you in the past is influencing this situation and how you view it, and it it's really making you emotional. Okay, I feel like the outcome. Uh, is in the unknown and it's like right now your decision is also in the unknown it's like you you don't know uh, what what to do okay so but your that person will be waiting quite anxiously for your response I feel like somebody is restless here and wanting to come out of this separation and uh, over here you're still kind of hanging back trying to figure out how this is actually going to work or how it's going to work out. See here you are sitting at the wishing well. You've had the wish before but it never actually uh, worked out because you see they're just floating on top the old witch wishes here that are grayed out they're just floating on top but you have this new wish and this wish is to deepen a relationship to have that stability um, and so uh, wishing for this person to come and tell you how they feel and and I feel like you you've been wishing for this person and they have come your biggest worry is this card here can you deepen this relationship? Can you have that stability? And it's for that reason that right in front of this knight who came back to you is this card of somebody putting off this decision. Okay, it sits right in between. It could be uh, if this person is the one who betrayed you that it did end quite badly and this is still haunting you you're still hurting from this um, and if it is somebody new uh, then it is your past that is haunting you uh, it's like I don't want any unwelcome surprises you know been there done that type of thing you see that up here you see there you are looking to the past you're looking towards the six of cups so you're looking to the past and you're looking to um, uh, yeah at your back here you have this um, these it's like you're walking down a path and suddenly something jumps out at you so this is about you watching your back uh, for any unwelcome surprises you know because you've been hurt before and um, as much as you want to be in a relationship or as much as you want to be in this relationship, you don't want to get hurt 
again. You don't want to go through that again. So it's like you're trying to avoid uh, that from happening. You you can't you. The thing is, you're still hurting from this this memory, and I think that you need to work through those feelings before you can actually uh, respond to this person. Maybe this person can help you to work through these feelings uh, that you're having. Okay, so you may need to communicate how you're feeling to this person. Okay, and why? And and this could help alleviate a lot of your your fears and worries. Yes, you have hidden feelings. You're worried. If you're worried about um, uh, them being the wolf in sheep's clothing, you know, so to speak. So you struggle with that. You're worried about betrayal down the road. And uh, so I, I feel like I feel like really the biggest thing here is going to be uh, communication. I feel like you're going to need to tell this person how you're feeling, okay? Uh, you're having some really intense feelings about creating this new opportunity with this person. And I really think that uh, holding back these fears that you're having and holding back these feelings um, is not a good thing. I think that you're looking at your options, you know, um, as to whether this can be transformed or not. Um, it's like you're not really getting anywhere or coming up with any answers. Well, I feel like the answer uh, will be to communicate, first of all, your feelings to your person. And, and that might just be all that you need is to get those feelings out on the table, discuss it with this person, and this could give you a new perspective on the whole thing. And so the obstacle is what you're feeling from the past. If it's not you, it is the other person. It's, it, the obstacle is that you've been hurt before or that they've been hurt before. And that is what's heavily on their mind. Okay. But they need to talk about it. I keep getting they need to talk about it with this person. They need to tell this person how they're feeling. And I feel like that is all that this needs in order to uh, to take off here for this new beginning because it's here and it's here look at that being able to escape a situation you're going to do that through communication through communication there's new information that is coming but you have to open up and you have to talk you have to tell them. don't walk away from this and uh, without without doing this first okay so if you're thinking of not taking it because you're too afraid you're going to be betrayed then um at, at least at least uh give communication a chance okay give communication a chance I, because I, I believe strongly that it's going to change your view of things once you do communicate with this person all right so i i think that this is what you you need to do and because your emotions the way you're feeling you have the moon here um could easily cause you to lose an opportunity that i feel could uh, uh could uh be very promising it could bring you what you're wishing for. It could actually bring you what you're wishing for. So you don't want to walk away from that, do you? So I, I think that you need to give the uh, com give communication a chance and see what happens. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.